the year. How many months are there in a year? Twelve. Exactly. How many weeks are there in a year? Fifty-two. Good. However, twelve months, well, twelve times four is forty-eight. And fifty-two minus four is forty-eight. Doesn't take a genius to work out we've got four extra weeks. And what do four weeks make? A month. There are actually 13 months in a year. We are being paid for 12 months work and we are doing 13 months work a year. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your right chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. You far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Oh, matter of fact, matter of fact, thank you guys, all my subscribers. I've finally been monetized, and it's all thanks for you guys for hanging around and listening to this old man rant. Appreciate you guys. Man, it means the world to me. All right, so now that I've calculated i am getting three cents for every thousand views, right? So in the next eight, nine, ten years, I can retire. I can get out the car, <laughs> <All right? laughs> So thank you guys. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And I hope this inspire. I got a couple of friends of mine that um, we talked about this for years. I got one in particular. She's in New Orleans. She's been talking about this for at least 10 years and still haven't pulled the trigger. So this is why I jumped in and, you know, when's the best time to plant a tree? Today, right? So I've been on this uh, journey for about five, six months now, and I've been trying to be consistent with it, just going out there. I got friends that are more articulate, more smarter than me. Uh, they know the English language better than I do, and they're just still stuck all right so hopefully it doesn't inspire them i hope it inspire other people because if you see like uh superstars like shannon sharp and other celebrities they come into this game and after that it's gonna be shut down and it's gonna be too late for y'all to get in all right so if you got a camera if you got a phone just go ahead and put it in i have a studio at the house okay i do have a studio i have three cameras microphone, desk. I just don't have the time to set it up, do my research and, and, you know, get behind the camera, edit. I don't have the time to do that. So this is why I do most of my content in the car. When I have a little free time in between clients, I do that. And when I get home, I try to do some editing, you know, I'm horrible at it and post it, you know? So again, hopefully this will inspire one of you guys you know, who want to do a rebut, rebuttal on my opinions, okay? You don't have to put a comment. You have an email. You have a Gmail. Start your own, start your own, okay? So, again, hopefully you guys will get inspired by, you know, being your own content creator and get into this space because it's going to be very important. In the next, I think, in the next year, all the celebrities are start doing this. All the celebrities have their own podcast. And they come up with their fan base. And then they're going to lock lock it down. Okay, so I just got in. And I'm really not doing it for the money. I'm trying to, you know, keep my mind sharp and have other hobbies. And um, that's, that's my story. <laughs> All right, so speaking of weird news of the day. All right. We have a few young lads in Houston area. These guys are are titled, are known as the Little Rascals. How were the so-called Little Rascals able to rob a bank in the Greenspoint area? ABC 13's Jessica Willie live with the details on this one tonight. Jessica? 
Yeah, those three boys were brought here to the Harris County Juvenile Detention Center after their arrests, where they will face a judge who will decide whether they will remain in detention or get to go home with their parents as this case moves forward. While it's unlikely the 16 year old could be certified as an adult, the Harris County Sheriff's Office says they are boy bank robbers. Their age is what's striking. The age of the younger two who have been uh, have been alleged to have done this, uh, that's a bit unusual for a bank robbery. According to the Harris County Sheriff's Office, the three boys passed a threatening note to a teller at this Wells Fargo on the North Freeway and West Road. They were believed to be armed and got away with an undisclosed amount of cash. Once the surveillance photos were released, the Sheriff's Office says tips started coming in. Two of the boys' parents came forward. The third boy was headed by law enforcement and recognized. I was thinking either this was very low in sophistication or maybe an adult had something to do with this. So this is not an uncommon thing because um, kids have punishment that's less severe. Uh, it's not uncommon for uh, adult offenders to get them into to commit crimes. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. 11, 12, and 16-year-olds robbing the bank during spring break. Yeah. Now, I can't say they're all black. They got their face blurred, but you could tell there's one of them is a Hispanic. No! <laughs> and the other two are the ninjas. So, this is the product of single moms, all right? There, I said it. This is the product of taking your kids to daycare at a young age and nobody is sitting there at home raising the child. You send them home to daycare at one, two years old. Daycare is the worst, worst place to drop your kids off. Okay. Especially at their formative years, the two, three, four, five years old before kindergarten, you drop your kids off at daycare. You do your kids a disservice and you're a horrible parent. If you're doing that, instead of, Sharing the time with the kid's father, you want to put him in daycare and punish you, punish the father. So, man, that's this is all bad moms. You can't say nothing about dads about this, okay? The dads was in the home because she didn't want them in the home. She wanted to raise the kids all by herself while she's going to work, putting 10, 12 hours a day at work. Nobody's watching an 11, 12 year old boy. <clears throat> this is the best time. This is the time where the kids need their fathers when they're 11, 12. They can't do nothing more with their moms. Moms, single moms. If you have a 12 year old boy b before teenager, give the kid to the father. Let him handle it. Let him raise the boy because you cannot do it. You cannot do it. We have studies after studies that shows that moms cannot raise a boy to a man and yet you're still trying it and you're failing miserably all these 95 percent of black men in prison right now are raised by single mothers or single grandmothers okay very few of them come from a two-parent home very few so this is a single mom problem this is a single parent home the there's three ideal ways of raising a child Two parent home, that's the best way. Raised by the father is the second best way. And the very last is a single mom. It's been shown, there's studies on it already. Don't at me at this. Don't come after me at this. Two parent home is number one. Raised by the fathers is number two. And the very last is number three, the single mom. But yet we have all these single moms out here. So, single mom, take a take a bow. This is all your product. This is your product. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's my thought for today. <laughs> if you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs>
Watch out now. All right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you single moms, get off my lawn.